is Donald Wetzel. He invented the ATM. And he had the idea for the ATM, and then he began to invent it. And he spent months and months and months inventing this thing. And then when he was done, he emerged from his invention cave, and he approached his wife. So probably many of you, right, if you invented a world-shaping invention, you would want to share it with a significant other, right? You'd be so excited. You'd be like, come check this thing out. Look at this thing. It's going to change everything. That's what Don did. So he went to his wife, and he said, hey, hey Eleanor, this is the name of his wife. He said, the ATM's complete. Why don't you come try it? It's, it's going to be fantastic. It's going to change the world. And here's what his wife said. She said, I'll pass. <laughs> He's like, what? This is where I've been all these months. I've been working hard. He said, why? Why won't you come check out the ATM? It, it's going to change everything. And here was Eleanor's response. She said, because it will never smile back at you. And these two are still married, if you can believe it. <laughs> they live in Dallas. They're still married. And here's the master class of all of this, though. Eleanor, she gets this idea of connection. She knows how important it is. And of course, Don wasn't trying to disrupt our connections. He was trying to make life better. But it's up to us to figure out how can we prioritize those connections. But to this day, Eleanor has never used an ATM. True story. So Eleanor, in conclusion, my friends, Eleanor has found one way, one way to trade convenience for connections, and we all should too.